G'day YouTube, one MJ here and welcome back. Right, sad day afternoon here in Australia and the market has bounced back quite nicely. So still under $2.7 trillion though, but it's up 5.4% considering it was down 7. Point, I think 6, 7.9% yesterday. So bounce back has been quite nice. Now I'm still not completely sold that this dip is over uh, and we'll get to that very shortly. But look, at the moment, people would be feeling uh, pretty happy. There's been some nice bounces. I mean, Solana's bounced nice. Multiple other coins have done quite well. BNB there. And again, it's a bit of a sea of green. Not too much hasn't done too well, but, you know, there's always outliers. So when everything else is pumping, you can find something that's dumping. And vice versa, when everything's dumping, you can generally find something that's still going up. All right, Bitcoin dominance under 42% now. So are we getting ready for this last kind of parabolic run that most people are expecting uh, for cryptocurrency to come in sort of, you know, um, well, it's not really going to be late December. No, it still could be late November, I suppose, because it's only November 20th and running into possibly January. We'll have to wait and see. And I'll look at that shortly on the charts. Volume down again to be expected on the weekend. Bitcoin price uh, under 60,000, so that's still pretty cheap considering where we were. We we're almost at 70, and ETH gas prices low considering where they've been uh, prior. So, as we can see, it's basically a sea of green, lots of nice double digit movers. So, what's been the best performer in the last 24 hours considering the market is up 5.4%? All right, there we can see Immutable X, nice rise right there, 38%, Loopring 21%, Phantom 21%, Zcash 19%, Helium 19%, oh, Safe Moon, good lord, 20%, I mean, you name it, there's plenty of nice double digit movers all over the place. Look, even Shiba Inu making a bit of move, a bit of a move. What hasn't performed so well then in the last 24 hours? Right, Akomi's down a little bit, Curve, and really that's it. Then we're into some uh, stable coins. So hardly any losers whatsoever in the top 100. And I guess that kind of stands uh, because the market is up 5.4%. So what I want to do is have a look at the Bitcoin chart. So this is where we are. Now, something that has me not so much worried, but... We've come back and touched this line. Now, basically, every other time we've touched this line of recent times, other than some wicks, candle bodies, there's been a bit of a bounce back and then a failure. A bit of a bounce back and then a failure. So I'm just wondering if this is going to be the bounce back and then it turns into a bit of a failure. Now, again, not that you know everything goes to zero from here, but just maybe this is a short-lived reprieve before we again come to test some lower levels, maybe get back down to that 53,000. Again, nothing I ever say is financial advice and I'm not saying that that's going to happen. I'm just saying, I'm looking at what's happened the last time. Fell down, tried to make a run back up two days in a row and ended up failing and going much lower. Came down, came back up, touched it again, failed. This time it broke out and had to come back and retest it. Uh, this one had just pumped straight through. So we're just waiting to see how this confirms. Now it's very early days over stateside time, so it's two in the morning for them on a sort of Saturday morning, Friday night. We're gonna have to wait and see whether this is gonna be the weekend pump that pushes it through, or does this again roll over and maybe come down and have to test some you know, lower levels. Again, maybe Bitcoin's gotta get down to sort of about 55,000, maybe even the 52, 53,000 that people have talk, been talking about maybe a whole lot lower. Maybe we got to come down and retest some sort of levels like around about here, the $50,000 level before we go up. Not trying to spread FUD, not trying to say that's what's going to happen. Just something you need to keep in mind. As I've said, I've got buy orders uh, for a few different things on the way down. They haven't filled yet. They got very, very close the other day, like oh so close, literally missing out by just a couple of dollars. But we'll just have to wait and see how the weekend plays out. Is this going to, again, roll over and, again, maybe come down and test some of these, you know, lower levels? Uh, I wouldn't mind if that happened. But if it doesn't, then it's all good. I've got plenty of cash sitting on the side. And if we are literally going to moon like everyone's thinking we are, then... Again, I've taken some profits and I will hold on to them for next time. Now, what I find interesting is a number of people on YouTube and Twitter, sorry, that was the word I was trying to think of, took me a minute there, are saying that they believe this is the last dip 
before things rocket, like 2017. So if we go back to 2017, this is the dip they're talking about. This was the last real big dip, because it's not this one. We haven't been seeing that kind of true parabolic stuff uh, just yet. Although some of the altcoins have been doing quite well, Bitcoin's been pretty stagnant and Bitcoin is still the leader of the market. The only reason altcoins are doing uh, well at the moment is because Bitcoin uh, is a little bit kind of choppy, uh, but you know, semi sort of stable and that's when altcoins do the best. But are we about to see something like this? Well, this was a 21% dip before, then it just went on this massive kind of price spike. And what did we see here? This was, I think it was about a 20% dip as well, thereabouts. What we got? We're not worrying about the wicks. Sorry. There. So not too far off. We had about a 15, actually, I'll do that again because that's, I'm pretty sure when I measured it yesterday, it was around about 19% or something like that. Well, there we go. It's saying 16%. I probably was using the wicks. So that's pretty close. And now we're really just waiting to see, is that going to be it? And are we then going to, you know, spark up and do, you know, the $8,800,000 level that everyone's thinking? Because this is what people are talking about. This is that last big sell-off before we go into this big parabolic run. Now, this sell-off, have a look when it happened. It happened from the 8th of November through to, uh, and let's fix that up. So it happened from the... 8th of no 9th of November sorry until the 12th of November so it was over a few days and what is our sell off here happening at basically the 9th of November through to about the I'll have to fix this again but I'm pretty sure we can just measure that that's the 9th of November to the 18th of November so it is marrying up fairly close time wise a couple of days out but still there and the percentage amount as well again look i'm not so sure but if it happens then i'm going to be more than happy if it does i'm just not sold on it but you got to admit they are lining up fairly closely again out a few days out and a couple of percentages out but again the difference is we've already had this big rise uh and you know this wasn't exactly a Wyckoff accumulation here. The charts are definitely different, but again, they, they're not always exactly the same, but they often rhyme. And if this plays out to be this, well, then I guess people were gonna be on the money uh, and things are going to turn out to be quite similar to how they were. But if we go back to the old chart, this is a Wyckoff accumulation sort of thing happening here, very similar and then rolled over, are we more at about here? Is this what we're seeing now? This is really what's more piqued my interest, is that I think this could be where we are. Because this isn't quite Wyckoff accumulation. Again, you know, similar to this, but this looks more like Wyckoff accumulation here, and then that bit of a sell-off. And again, that was quite a steep sell-off when it fell from there to there. And we go back to this chart. Again, the Wyckoff accumulation, the first one, and then a couple at the top. The first one, and then a couple at the top. And then you have that big rollover. And that's where we had the big rollover here. And then it slowly made its way back up to the Wyckoff accumulation. So back up to where the Wyckoff accumulation is. And then again, we roll over. So this is really where I think we might be, is just in here as opposed to this last big sell-off being here. I don't think we're there. I think, again, it's being stretched out and we're a little bit behind. I think this is what we're seeing. And we're gonna see another big pump up. Uh, and this time it'll be around that kind of $80,000, $90,000 level. Might even get up to 100. And then we're gonna see some kind of retracement like this, a 30, 40% retracement. Have everyone thinking it's the bear market and that it's all over and look it may well be again never financial advice just what i think is going to happen and then again we do more things like this i just yeah i think this is more likely where we are around about here because look at that big pump up and roll over big pump up and roll over so that's where i'm kind of seeing this now again they're not the exact same time frames but that's just where i'm sort of 
that's where my gut feeling is telling me that we might be. And that's all it is. And that's all I can go by is what my gut feeling says. I just don't think uh, this is this over here. Uh, I think we've still got more things like this to go. I don't think Bitcoin will top out at $100. Again, basically in the next sort of you know, five weeks, maybe six weeks. I just think it's got a lot further to go than that. But anyway, that's me. Now, one interesting story that uh, came up. So Hillary Clinton has come out and said, cryptocurrencies can destabilize nations. We need to have a look at the language she used because I agree with it in some ways in very small elements, but not really. So she says, one more area that I hope nation states are paying greater attention to is the rise of cryptocurrencies because what looks like a very interesting and somewhat exotic effort to literally mine new coins in order to trade with them has the potential for undermining currencies for undermining the role of the dollar as the reserve currency for destabilizing nations perhaps starting with small ones but going much larger that's the whole point of bitcoin now there's plenty of scam cryptocurrencies that just they're not going to last I absolutely agree. There's a lot of dodgy ones, but she's not really talking about the dodgy ones. She's talking about Bitcoin because that's the one that will likely undermine, you know, nations and currencies and that. But she's, you know, she's got to wake up to herself. We want to get away from fiat crypto, from fiat currencies. They are the most corrupt and the biggest stabilizer. And I wrote a tweet about this before and I put it out to her. Now, she'll probably never read it, but this is what I put. Hillary Clinton, do the world a favor and edu educate yourself Sorry, on Bitcoin. The US dollar and all fiat currencies are the real destabilizer to everyone except governments and the rich. Cryptocurrency is the answer to a monetary system that isn't controlled by thieves, cheats and liars. Now, don't get me wrong. The dodgy cryptocurrencies, they fall in that category. But good cryptocurrencies, decentralized ones that are run properly, they are not controlled by thieves, cheats and liars. That's the whole point of them. And it is very disappointing that she came out and said that. And it's things like that that I just get the feeling, you know, all these other regulatory issues, you know, block fires being invested, there's investigated by, well... The SEC are looking into BlockFi and they're also going to look into Celsius and other things like that. That's what makes me think that maybe this dip isn't over yet and we're going to have to come down and have we actually reached that kind of max pain point. Maybe we have, I hope so. But my gut feeling is I've still got my buy orders in and I'm not going to be surprised if we get rejected by this over the next few days and then start to come down and again possibly test 52,000 maybe even the $50,000 level before we start to go back up. Because uh, I haven't checked, but I'm, I'd be surprised if there weren't a whole stack of people going long right now again. And it may be enough for, again, the big players to go, we're going to push it down again to shake them people out, really test their resolve and their faith. And also, because they're going to have buy orders set in, Everyone wants to buy Bitcoin and you know every cryptocurrency you can think of at cheaper prices than today. So that is where I'm at. I'm not rushing out and buying anything at the moment. I have my buy orders in. And look, if they don't get filled, like I said, then it doesn't matter. And if we truly are about to go into this parabolic phase, then that is great. My bags are packed. I'm ready to go. But if it does push down a little bit further, then I've got fiat on the side to buy some more before I think we really start to go off uh, and you know get into that parabolic stuff. But again, my gut feeling says, I don't think that's coming till somewhere around about March. And again, maybe out as far as Data Dash has been saying to maybe even November next year, 2022. That would be interesting because that is when I could see Bitcoin definitely, you know, if we hit a, you know, a big, you know, massive blow off top, you know, next November, I think it absolutely could be the three, two hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollar level. But in the next five weeks, I just don't think Bitcoin's going to go up by that much. Again, happy to be wrong. Uh, I've, again, I've got, you know, my bags packed. I'm ready to go. I just don't see it happening. All right, look, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. The last few, the last, you know, sort of day and a bit has been pretty good gains, but we're still down from old all time highs, which means, you know, things are still at a discount. And I'll see you next time.